Hello and welcome to yet another lecture on basic electrical engineering. Myself, Pavitra, Assistant Professor of Dr. Shudhir Chandra Shudhir Engineering College, Electrical Engineering Department. Today we will discuss about the open circuit and the short circuit conception. So till now we have learned about the generation of the DC, the formation of the DC, the Ohm's law conception and it is applicable for a circuit the different units of R, L and the C and along their mathematical expression followed by the series and parallel connection and depending upon the voltage source which circuit is called a series one and which circuit is called the parallel one is known to us. Now today we will concentrate on the open circuit conception and the short circuit conception. So First that we will do is the take the conception of open circuit. We will take the conception of open circuit. Or in other words, we can say it is OC, open circuit conception. From the name, it is suggested that open circuit means some portion of the circuit is open. So what happens is some portion of the circuit is open. So let us take that particular circuit. Let us take a circuit and we will comment on the conception of open circuit. And the short circuit. Later we will discuss about the short circuit. Then let us take a circuit that is called There is a ground potential zero that we have already done is R and that will allow a current to flow through the circuit called the I equal to V by R. So now I am coming to the OC conception. I am opening that particular part. Now I am opening that particular part. So, what is the value of the current that is flowing through the circuit? What is the value of the current? First, the value of the current I is given by when the circuit is closed is V minus 0 by R. I equals to V by R. So now, if the circuit is opened, so what is the value of the current? The value of the current is now zero. That means the voltage, say I am considering this point is A and this point is B. And the voltage difference between these two points is considered as V A B. Now, so I can write the equation in that way that I, that is the voltage difference between the two parts V A and the VAB. What is the current? The voltage at that part is V and voltage at that point is VAB. So 
So what is the voltage difference between the two points of the resistor? The voltage difference of the two points of the resistor is V, where the current is entering, and VAB, where the current is leaving. So we all know that the current is flowing from the higher potential to the lower potential. So the voltage difference is V minus VAB divided by the resistance. So now when the circuit is open, the value of the current is open circuit means the value of the current is zero. So this equation becomes zero. I becomes zero. By R. So from there V minus V A V became So what is the value of VAB? So VAB became from that equation equal to V. This is one of the most important characteristics of the open circuit. Let us deal with the open circuit conception is that the voltage across the open terminal where the voltage is open is the VAB became the V. So this value became V. So this value is V. This value is V. So what is the voltage difference? VAB become V. So the voltage difference become V minus V. Across the resistance, the voltage difference became across the resistance. Across that resistance, the voltage difference became V minus V equals to zero. If there is no voltage difference according to the Ohm's law, there is no flow of current, so the current became zero. So this is the general conception of the open circuit. A circuit where a portion or a part is open, the voltage is same. Or the equal to the voltage which is entering or which is in the other side of the resistance. So the other side of the resistance, the voltage is V, so this side is also the voltage is V. So means there is a voltage, this voltage is V, this voltage is V, and this voltage at that point is voltage is V. So it means there is no voltage difference, there is no allow of current, flowing of current. So this is mean the open circuit, the part, it's a part of the circuit where it is open, all the voltages will come there. So there is no voltage difference and there is no current to inflow. So this is the general conception of an open circuit. So let us take the conception of short circuit. It is known as AC. So the name that is suggests that the short circuit means a portion or a part is shorted. Shorted means with the help of somewhere this portion is shorted. So let us I is starting to flowing and is divided into the two parts. So the first part is I1 having a resistance value R1 and this part is I minus I1 having a resistance value of R2. So we all know that the 
are equivalent is from the conception of the parallel connection that we have done that the R equivalent the voltage remains same but the current is divided is 1 by R1 plus 1 by R2. Let us what we have done now we have short that particular part short with the help of the wire means there is no resistance there is no resistance in this circuit so you can write that the r2 became nearly equal to c so what is the value of r is equivalent 1 by r plus 1 by c is 1 by R1 plus infinity. So 1 by R equivalent became infinity. 1 by R equivalent. So what is the value of R equivalent? R equivalent equal to 1 by infinity equals to 0. So, what is the value of psi current is rooted through in this way? So, what is the value of current I equal to P by R equivalent? So, V by 0. So, I is nearly equal to infinity the most important characteristics regarding the short circuit means the portion at which the circuit is shorted maximum amount that is nearly equal to infinity amount of current is going through that particular part and some amount of current is that is the i1 is very is very small amount of current is going through that particular for instance r1 means a portion is shorted if the portion is shorted if this one is shorted that means all the resistance that are connected in parallel with that particular circuit all are shorted means this one also be shorted this one also be shorted means all the resistance that is connected in parallel are shorted this is the general equation of a short circuit so open circuit means the portion where the circuit is open, all the voltage will come to that particular open portion. And the short circuit means the portion at which the circuit is sorted with the help of some external wires. Maximum amount of current will flow through that short circuit part. So this is the general conception of open circuit and the short circuit. So let us And the voltage source here to make it a parallel one. The voltage source is given to make the transistance. A parallel one. So these two are in character in parallels. This is I1, current are divided, this is I2, or this is I2, this is I3. So total current that is I is divided into three parts, but the voltage remains same. I1 plus, so it is called the parallel connection. This is known as parallel connection. So, so 
So let us, I have just shorted that particular resistance. So what is the equivalent resistance? So these two are in parallel. So all three are in parallel. So what is the equivalent resistance? So one to us, one by R1. Now, if I short that particular R3, with the help of some wire, I just shorted that particular R3. Okay. That means the value of the R3 is now, the value of the R3 is now is 0. So 1 by R3 is infinity. So this value we gave 1 by 0 equals to infinity. So the total R equivalent became 1 by R equivalent that is became infinity. It means infinity plus 1 by R2 plus 1 by R1. So the R equivalent became that we have done 1 by infinity to zero so there is no resistance in the circuit means if in a parallel connection say there are three resistances one resistance is short circuited all the resistance that is connected in parallel with that resistance are also short circuited are also short circuit so the entire circuit now became that one Value of I is nearly value of I is nearly infinity. So this is the conception that when a resistance of a parallel connection of the resistance are short circuited, then all the resistance will be short circuited. That is connected in parallel with that resistance. Yeah, the R3 short circuited means the R1 and R2, which are connected in parallel with the R3, are also short circuited. Let us take some another example. If there is a resistance is there in this circuit. Say this one is the R4. So now, and this resistance was there in the circuit, and I just short circuited that. So it is given that uh, what is the equivalent resistance of that particular circuit? Equivalent resistance is that this resistance is also there in the circuit, and this resistance is also there in the circuit. So R1. Starting from the left side, that is R2 and R3 is in parallel. R2 parallel to R3. And which is in series with R4. Which is in starting from the right hand side, which is in series in the R4. This total amount is parallel with R1. How? the question will arrive how so to find that say this is a i current that is flowing and it is now divided into the two parts say this one i1 is going through here and i2 is going through here i2 is going to going through r4 and r1 i2 is going through r4 so this i2 again divided into two parts that is i3 that is going to r3 and that is I4 that is going to R3 and I4 is going to R3 and I2 is going I3 is going to going through R3. I3 is going through R2 and I4 is going through R3. 
So here the first is the I1 that is divided into the resistance R1 and R1 and R4 that is I1 plus I2 first followed by the second portion that is R2 that is going through R4 it is now divided into two parts that is I3 and I4 this I3 that is going through this I3 that is going through R2 and this is I4 that is going through R3 and this is I4 is coming down from here and here the I3 is coming down from here that at that point the current is I3 plus I4 and again I1 that is I2 that is equal to I2 is equal to I2 and at that point I1 is coming down from here and I2 is going there means the summation of I3 and I4 and at that point that is summation is I1 plus I2 that is equal to the I. That is why the series and the parallel connection is R3 and R4 in parallel followed by series with R2 and R3 in parallel followed by the series with R4 and both total is parallel with R1. So what I am you that if I short that particular resistance R3 those two are in parallel because they are shorted and we can replace that with the help of a single line so only resistance is there in the series is R1 and R4 and they are in parallel so the equivalent resistance become because this is in connected in R4 is connected in series with the R2 and R3 so it not it will not be shorted only the parallel connection resistance has shorted so this one and this one are parallel means those two are this if this r3 shorted means this one is also shorted this one is also shorted so only the resistance there in the circuit is r1 and r4 so the equation equivalent became r1 parallel to r4 the equivalent resistance begin because they are the R4 is connected in series with the parallel combination of R2 and R3. If R3 is sorted, means R2 is sorted, not the R4 because R4 is connected in series with R2 and R3. So, that the that whatever we have learned is that. N number of resistance is connected in parallel. If one of the resistance is shorted, so n number of resistance will be shorted. But if there is that one resistance which is connected in the series, the left hand side of all the resistance will remain there, but the right hand side will be shorted of that particular resistance. So let us we are also calculating the power. It is distributed in the resistance. Say voltage across the resistance is V. The current that is flowing to the resistance is I. The resistance value is R. So the power that is flowing through the resistance, our dissipated V, can be written as V into I, whole into ampere. So I can be replaced by, so we all know from the Ohm's law, that is V equal to IR. So I can be written as V by R. So power can be written as V square by R in terms of voltage and resistance. So V can be replaced by same thing IR. From the Ohm's law. So the power can be written in terms of current and resistance is I square by I square into R, I square R, and in terms of voltage and current, V into I. All the units are in watts. 
So that is the power distribution in a resistance. So separated in a resistance. That is this Vi or V square by R in terms of voltage and current, that is Vi in terms of voltage and resistance, that is V square by R in terms of current and resistance, that is I square R. Is that total power distributed in the resistance? So today we have learned about the open circuit and the short circuit. Open circuit means when the portion is open, all the voltage will become across that open part portion and there is no current going to the circuit. And the short circuit means a particular resistance is sorted with the help of some external wire, means all the resistance connected in parallel with that will be short circuited. If there is any resistance is connected in series, the left hand side of the resistance are will be remain same of that particular series resistance, but the right hand side of the all the resistance will be short circuited. But uh, the current that is flowing it is nearly equal to infinity and also the power dissipated in the resistance is power in watts is the power in terms of voltage and current is V into I in terms of voltage and resistance is V square by R and in terms of current and resistance it is I square R. Thank you.